I've been playing with ink today. I've been playing in this beautiful journal that I got from Arteza. It's five and a half by five and a half inches. My goal is to make it filthy by the time I'm finished. I started well. It's my playing journal and I wrote myself a bunch of things I'm supposed to do. Primary among them is play. Experiment, fall in love, create disasters, clean them up or leave them, wonder what will happen, try new stuff, combine materials, use toilet paper as a tool, invite your inner child to the party, listen to the materials to hear what to do, let your water get filthy, mess up this book, and so on. Sometimes I really have to give myself permission to play. So I just took ink and did whatever occurred to me. With this one, I took a palette knife and scraped the paint, the ink away. Here I sewed with wire and used washi tape. And then I taped it down on the back side and drew all over it with acrylic markers and gel pens. This I was using the acrylic markers and I wanted to see what would happen with the ink. It worked as a resist. So that was kind of fun to see. This was using one of these things from the hospital. I put ink on it and smooshed it down like this and then it ran out of the ink and it kept and I kept going. I like the texture that it created. This was with the same tool. I um, soaked it in ink and did this and then I used the other side with just water and then I used the ink side and then the water and they ran into each other. And then I closed the book and this is the mirror image. This I used the muller, which is what you use to make paint. So I put the ink down and I spread it around using the muller, which is a completely flat side. This is um, Sumi ink and uh, this is carbon ink, which is for writing. I wanted to see the different kinds of inks. Here, I cut the paper and um, used watercolor and some ink. And then I wanted to see what would happen if the ink would go through and the paint would go through. And it did a little bit. I, I'm gonna go back into this probably. Here, I just wanted to see, I was using my um, water that had gotten dirty along with ink and let that dry. And then I came back a couple hours later and did these marks with dirty water and then just let ink run into them. Look at this, I just love the edge here. And over here, I was working again with water and ink running into it, using a little bit of paint just to see what would happen. And then I drew uh, circles on the paper with dirty water, and then I put ink into it. And this is the one the video is from. I just watched the ink dry because it was a lot darker before it dried. So I'm curious how I can keep it that dark. This is the carbon ink and everything else is Sumi ink. This has, this has more depth to it. You can tell where the water didn't get on it. Then I started playing with um, chart pack. They are rolls of, um, oh, I don't know if I have one you can see. They're rolls of tape. This is what graphic designers used to use back in the old days before they had computers. So I put down the chart tape and then I put down some water and ran ink into it. So that's what I did in, in these cases. This started getting very exciting to me. And I did the same thing here, except I cut the paper and peeled it back and um, just did different things with the ink and then I wanted to see what would happen when the ink went through. So I wet this page completely and let this ink bleed through. And that's as far as I've gotten today, but boy have I had fun playing.